Eloise Parker is a retired school teacher who is living on a farm that she has um, owned many, many years. I probably inherited it. Um, and she has a tenant, a Mr. Clay. And Mr. Clay is a very interesting and a little bit of an odd kind of person. He's, um, he's not very verbal. Uh, and not communicative in that sense, but he is, uh, he's pleasant and, uh, and appears to her as a little lonely. And she's a little lonely too, as her children are, oh, everybody's gone, and you know, everybody's gone. What attracted me to this? Because that happened to my mother. That actually did happen to my mother. And uh, fortunately, I was able to put a stop to it. Yes, uh, there are all kinds of scams. And, and the people try to sound so friendly when you call, you know. Uh, they try to sound so friendly. And they're so personal and so personable. And they're just thieves. There are thieves, you know. So this is what attracted me to it, because I, I know that it's real. I know that this does happen to people, and it happens every single day, unfortunately. It will unfold as they see it, but it makes so much sense, you know, the definition of it. As, as everything, on, as the story unfolds, and you understand the beekeeper as we see him initially, and the beekeeper as he is in another way. Uh, I, I, I thought that was very clever writing. Actually, I thought it was very intelligent writing. I liked that a lot. Eloise, according to what Clay says himself, is the first person who ever took care of him. You know, and he, um, that means a lot to him. And, and he doesn't say much. He's a person who doesn't say much. He internalizes. You know. And, and uh, I can tell you just in that one scene that we had, that one encounter which, in which he says that to, uh, to Eloise, um, it was so truthful, so honest, He's a very honest actor. I, I like working with him. Could we talk about David Ayer? <laughs> this is my first time meeting David as well. And um, I can say that I, I do not recall ever being on a set in which the director actually got behind the camera. And he did to line up a shot to get it just like he wanted because I, um, he's very visual in telling his stories, right? It isn't just a close up on the actor. It isn't just a close up on that person. It's that, it's what the whole scene is. What's there, yes, and what's behind what you see immediately. He really, and then he's, he's, he's really cool. He's like, um, he too doesn't talk a lot. <laughs> he doesn't, he doesn't. He's just very even. He's extremely kind and polite. And he knows what he's looking at and he knows what he wants. I agree with you, this is a very powerful premise in this film, this, this scam issue, and this film built around it and the levels in which it is taking place within the film, uh, and the levels of people who are involved in it, knowingly or unknowingly. Uh, <laughs> you know, when you look at it like that, I could say, you could almost think it's a horror film, 
because it's so horrible that it happens. It's, yeah, but it's, yeah, it's a very deep premise. This is called Castle Farm. Uh, we're in the countryside in England. And I wish you could see this lavender field. Just a whole field with lavender. And then on the other side, there are cows. And further up the road, there are sheep. And there are rolling hills and a crop of trees at the top of the hill. It's pastoral and beautiful. People are living here in the house in which we filmed Eloise, Eloise in her kitchen. I understand that the house is like 500 years old. And this barn that I'm sitting in right now as I'm speaking to you, I'm looking at it. And truthfully, it is four to 500 years old. Uh, the people who built in those days of master craftsmen, because it's still standing. It's like a walk in history while staying in the present. It's really quite nice. This is a wonderful set. It's a very warm set. Oh, and this is the other thing about this film. It's a pageantry of notable actors, a pageantry of great actors. When I'm in the makeup trailer and I look up at the wall and you see photographs of all the actors who were in the film, it was like, oh my goodness. And there's this one, and there's that, oh yeah, and that one too. It's, it's great. <laughs> 